Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to talk about new production cassettes. That's right, there are companies out there who are still making brand new blank cassette tapes. I'm not talking about the cheap Chinese ones that you can get on Alibaba or Banggood. I'm talking about actual good quality cassettes. Today we're going to pick one of those, record on it, and see what it sounds like. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the ATR Magnetics Cobalt Gold Series which is their brand new production Cobalt Type 2 Chrome cassette. We're going to record this at the normal speed of 1 and 7 eighths, and we're also going to do a test at 3 and 3 quarters inches per second here on my high speed BIC cassette deck. Stay tuned. Now today we're just going to be concentrating on the ATR Cobalt Gold Series 60 minute cassette. Now this one is kind of cool looking, it has a reel to reel look. These are about $22 a piece, brand new. But you're not taking a chance with new old stock tapes or used ones, so we'll see if it's worth it. Now they also do have the Cobalt Silver Series, which doesn't have those same cool reels, but it's the same tape. These are about nine bucks. so. These will probably be a good choice, too, if you're on a budget. Also, we do have a uh, normal bias standard ferret cassette that they do make. We're not going to cover that one today. We'll do that in another video. I want to concentrate on their highest end cassette that they're making. So the first thing we want to do is get this thing opened up, and we'll get our cassette deck calibrated up and start recording some music. All right, well, let's get this tape opened up and see what it looks like. From the outside, it looks pretty nice. You know, you don't get the experience of opening up a brand new cassette tape very often anymore in 2023. Takes me back to the 80s and 90s, and some of them were easier to open back then than others. <laughs> this one's on the tough side. All right, so what do we have? Got a pretty nice jewel case, kind of the standard plastic jewel case fare. A couple of uh, labels to put on the tape, but I don't think I want to cover up those uh, those reels. They had a pretty nice J card that we can flip over, turn the other way, write our track names and all that information on. That's nice. All right, we'll put all that stuff back in the uh, case here. And take a look at the cassette. Now the cassette itself is actually pretty nice looking. Got the reels. The only thing I don't really like, and this is probably be a nitpicky, is the tape extends beyond the edge of their little uh, hubs on there. Not sure I really like that, but beggars can't be choosers. Looks like we got uh, screwed together construction, which is nice, not glued. Good looking hubs, nice leader on there, and nice uh, plastic reinforcement running across the bottom of that. That's something that I don't remember seeing on other brands of cassettes back in the day. So it feels like a pretty nice tape. All right, let's get this put in the uh, machine here, and uh, we'll start recording. Now, I've already got the tape deck calibrated up for this tape and ready to go. Uh, the reason I'm using this one is because it's a three-head deck, and we can switch between the source and the tape as it's actually recording. And what I'm going to do, rather than have you guys listen to it through my microphone and through the speakers, is actually capture the output directly into my computer through my Motu capture device so that we can get a really good idea of what it's going to sound like. So we've got a uh, recording set. We've got recording ready. We're on high bias, 70 on the EQ, inch and 7 eighths speed. So it sounds like we're about ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going. And we'll see what this recording sounds like. We're going to start off on the source so that you guys can hear what the source sounds like.
Now let's record that same piece of music on high speed, which is three and three quarters inches per second, and we'll see if we can hear any difference. So what did you think? How does it compare to the cassettes that you've been using? Let me know down in the comments what you think, how you thought it sounded, and if there are other brands of cassettes out there that are being produced brand new that you think I should take a look at. Now, I do want to remind everybody that this was not a sponsored video by ATR. Now if they wanted to send some tapes my way for, uh, for reviewing on other stuff, I'd be happy to accept them, but this video here, I bought these myself to try out. I've been using their reel-to-reel -reel tapes for years, and I've always really liked them, so I was excited when they came out with a brand new cassette. Well, that's all I have for this week. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and we'll see you next time here on the Vintage Electronics Channel.